back with another video. Tech news here. Yep. My name What's is Ismael. All right. And so, what do we have for today? All right. So for today, we're gonna be doing a RAM upgrade. Okay. On a mid 2012 iQOO Pro. Uh, we made a video about it. It's not uploaded yet. <laughs> it's not uploaded yet, but a little aggressive, a little too excited. But we'll upload it tonight. Okay. So tonight's Thursday. So it's gonna be up tonight. Okay. So I think we even have an unboxing. Yep. So. Here it is. Oh man, but the we ramp. need the scissors now. We need the scissors. Oh yeah. I, I'll get you the scissors. All right, guys. So, shout out to iFixit. I don't know if you can see the brand, but pretty good company for parts. And they're pretty nice. Their prices are not bad. If you're an iFixit Pro, um, subscriber. No, not subscriber. Just member. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So. I'm gonna close this one. You're gonna close that one and you're gonna show. Hopefully, show this is not a fail or something. Oh, like you cut yourself or something? Yeah. Don't cut yourself. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's already a fail. It's already a fail. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> close call, guys, but we're good, we're good. Alright. This man almost cut his, his fingers. Alright. Okay. Okay. As you guys can see. It's mostly cardboard. Where's that cardboard? Tissue paper. I mean, it's really light. Super light. Probably too it's, much packaging. They probably charge like 50 cents for the shipping because of food. Okay, so this this was on top. Yeah. Alright guys, so here we have it. The ramp. It's 8 gigabytes. Plus eight gigabytes. Yeah. So the thing with this MacBook is that the max is sixteen gigabytes, and we're gonna upgrade to the max. Okay. Now, what I do think is interesting to tell you guys is how much do these usually go for? Uh, usually for one like sixty dollars, eighty dollars. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So we got two of them, and although it doesn't say the price, we paid roughly eighty bucks with shipping. Mm -hmm. So that's not bad at all for two. Yeah. But the thing is that they're used, but the thing is that it's okay to buy used RAM. It is. I, start, I searched it up and uh, the thing is that RAM, some people were saying, or well, some people on the internet, they're like, no, it has viruses and stuff like that. No, but like, RAM can't have viruses. They reset every time you turn off your computer, and then you turn it back on, it resets every time. That's RAM. That's how it works. That's so how it works, guys. So, and I don't think you can mess up RAM. You just put it on. Plus, when you have a good, uh, and this is not sponsored by iFixit whatsoever, but we really do like their parts yeah. and the tools that they give us. So, we will have a video coming right up on Ismail opening up his MacBook and hopefully it turning back on. Yeah, we'll show you guys a close up and we'll see. All right. All right, guys, so here we have the MacBook and we're going to do the RAM upgrade. And as I showed you earlier, this is the RAM right here. RAM chip, you can see it's 8 gigabytes each. And okay, so let's get to it. So here's the MacBook. What you want to do is you want to turn it around, put it face down, be careful. And then take your screwdriver and take your Felix, Phillips head. And then you're going to take off the screws from. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, There's ten screws. And you can just gonna take them out. And make sure that you don't confuse them because they're different sizes. And I don't know if you can see it, but this is my my tray. This is where I put my screws in. And I'm gonna have. I'm just gonna separate them. I have two down, three. So we made a video earlier about this MacBook, but we haven't uploaded it yet, which will go up today, which is Thursday tonight. And it's just basically talking about how we got this MacBook and the current RAM that it has. So currently it has four gigabytes of RAM 
it's good enough for daily tasks but once you have a lot of apps open it starts to slow down a little bit but overall the processor is pretty good graphics are good too so it's just the RAM and it comes with 500 gigabytes of storage I do plan to upgrade it to an SSD in the future. So as you guys can see, this one's a different size, it's a little bit more longer than the other ones. Can you zoom? Yeah. So that's why you shouldn't confuse the screws all right guys so once you have them all off you'll finally be able to take off the cover and reveal the insides all right, so put the cover to the side for right now. And then what I'm gonna do is take a plastic spudger, one of these. Just gonna focus one of these. And then you're gonna remove the battery, the battery connector from here. Just pull it right out and it's off right now. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's off right now. Yeah, once you have that, uh, touch something metallic so that you can discharge your electricity. And then here you can see the RAM. This is the slot for the RAM. And this MacBook is actually pretty easy to upgrade. Uh, here you have the hard disk drive, which you can upgrade also. You have your battery, which is easy to upgrade or change for a new one. And here's a disk drive, which you can change into another hard drive if you wish to, if you want to. So to remove the RAM, what you're going to do is... Let me focus this. All right. So what you're going to do is you're gonna push these open. And then it's going to push them up like that. And then what you want to do is you want to pull it out. And then here you can see the RAM. So we can see that this was a two gigabyte stick, which makes two times two is four, obviously, four gigabytes of RAM. And then you're gonna put this one to the side. Since it has two, you're gonna take the other one out too. You're gonna push a little bit up, and then you're gonna pull it out. Or let it go up all the way you're gonna pull out like that and same with this one you can see it's two gigabytes and it's a samsung both of these are samsung these are stock ram cards and here's the new one you open it Take it out of the package. Then you can see it's Samsung 8 gigabytes. And we're gonna add two of these, so it's gonna be 8 plus 8, 16. So then, same way as you took out the other ones, you're gonna put it in. Like this, make sure that it goes in all the way. And once it's all the way in, you can push it down. It's going to be right there in place. Then, oops, my bad. But then you're going to take the other one. You're going to open it. So once you have it open, 
We're gonna do the same thing as the other one. It's another eight gigabytes by Samsung. So we're gonna do the same thing. Go in here. And look at the slot. I'm gonna put it in. Make sure it goes in all the way from both sides. And you just push it down. And then it's gonna lock itself in and it will fall out. And then something that I wanted to do was clean out the fan. So I'll be right back. A few moments later. Alright, so we're back. The dust remover. And let me test it out. To feel the air. Uh, you guys just saw that that was some like dirt that came out and then you can just clean out this part now it's a little bit more clean so why should you clean your your fan your cooling fan this is gonna help your computer stay cool and run a little bit more fast if this gets filled up with dust and dirt, then it's gonna start to slow down. And once the computer starts heating up, it's gonna start to slow down in order for it not to damage itself if it gets too hot. So that's why you wanna clean this up. Just gonna go around. You might see some dust coming out. Now it looks more clean. All right, so you might also want to do this to the back cover. There's some dirt on this thing, some dust. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Then there's these little bends right here where some dust might get in so what you want to do is you just want to go with your dust remover and just blow in it Alright, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take in your battery connector, you're gonna put it back in, and just press down. What you have to do is just put it back on, make sure everything's back to normal. Alright, so grab it, put it in, then just make sure it fits. Then you're going to grab your screws in the same order that you took them out. Not really necessarily, but just try to remember which one comes from where. Alright, 
so they're all in. I can just turn it around and turn it on to see. Then you're just going to want to sign into your account. Once it boots up, you'll see. So far, it's loading. So, this part it might be slow because this is starting off from the hard disk drive. And when I upgrade to an SSD, which is a better type of hard drive, it's going to go way faster. So, right now, it's just booting up and let's wait. And then you go to your information. Let's see if it reads it. All right, there we go, guys. So, as you guys can see, 2.5 gigahertz, and now these are the new specs, Six, 16 gigabytes of RAM. And I'm actually gonna test it out right now to see how, if there's a difference. All right, let's see. So let me open some apps. All right, so Google Chrome opens up pretty fast now. It's like instantaneous. You can open more apps. The App Store opens up really fast. Then, let me see. I think I have it on my YouTube videos. So this is my folder basically where I keep all my YouTube stuff. Since I do the editing, I have logos, I have pictures, I have the videos. I'll probably make a tutorial someday about how I edit. Alright guys, if you found this helpful, please drop a like on the video and subscribe. If this is your video watching because I've seen other videos of people trying to do this tutorial. And if this was helpful for you, just leave a like and subscribe or even comment letting me know if you saw this video.